What is going, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Race Blaze. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe to all that great stuff. As you can see on the screen, I was able to finally bring in my animation, and this works smoothly in Unreal Engine 5. If you guys watched my previous video, I was having issues trying to bring my animation, and yeah, it was kind of a bit of a trick. But Unreal Engine 5 has a way it works. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it from A to Z. So please if you guys are new to this channel subscribe i try to help you know every cg artist out there because you know what i was thinking man how can i not use Unreal engine 5 i have to so yeah i was able to figure it out and i'm just glad that i did okay so um first thing i just want to say um if you guys are working with mocap animations um for example i use the xn uh mocap uh suits yeah window starter now if you directly bring your animation, say you export the animation from XN, if you bring it to Unreal Engine 5, you have this error, okay? Now, again, y'all, what I'm doing is, I'm actually telling you guys the steps, okay, on how to do, how to bring in your animation and apply it to your characters. So, I'm gonna just open one of my, as you can see here, I was playing with the C, the programming, C++ source, but, you know, that didn't work out. <laughs> I know a little bit about that, but, you know, it's just, Something I just wanted to show. Anyways, so let me bring in an XN animation that I have. Just give me one sec, yo. Okay, so I do have some of these animations. So if I go ahead to just import this, and then I, you know, you 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 put that to the MVN puppet. When you import that, just give it a, a minute. So that imported here, and as you see that the animation is not playing. Okay, so I was wondering like, what is happening? Is this a glitch? But apparently what you have to do is you actually have to bring this um your mocap animation into maya blender or cinema 4d now this is a very this is an extra step i don't know if this will be temporary or permanent but i think on engine need to really fix that issue because i don't know why that happens so what i did was i actually brought in um my animation into cinema 4d and i'm going to show you guys in just a few minutes all right, so I'm here in Cinema 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my animation, click on the animation tab, and then bring it to, into um, Cinema 40. As you can see, it plays properly. Now I'm just doing some whatever I'm doing. Okay, so what I did was I just exported this as FBX, include the animations as well. And uh, we are, I'm just going to export this as me sitting. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Okay. So pretty much when you've done that, you can go back to Unreal Engine 5 and actually just directly import this. And this will be able to work properly. So when we play this, you can see that now the animation is working. So again, I don't know if this is a bug or a glitch, but I hope they fix it because I don't want to be going back and forth. You know, you know what I mean? It's just more stress. I mean, we, we should be in the age where, oh, she just pointed. We should be in the age where, you know, things are very easy and flexible. But yeah, I do think this is a glitch. So Orangin, I trust them. They're going to fix that later. All right. So in terms of bringing our characters and retargeting and all that, so let us begin the process. So Orangin 5, they introduced this thing they call IK rig and retargeting, which is a nightmare, but it's not that complicated. Okay. So the first thing I did was I right clicked here and I went to my animation and clicked on the IK rig. Okay. So I already created mine and I just called this my XN IK. Okay. So I'm going to click that. So pretty much what you want to do is the first thing you want to do is I'm not sure if I should. Anyways, let, you know what? I'm going to just do it again with you guys. So, you know, I just want to show you guys the whole steps. Okay. So. The first thing you want to do is you want to actually go to your hips. If it's other type of rigs, maybe the pelvis and just right click and then set this as the retarget route. So with this enabled, your character will be able to follow the exact location because in my previous video, I was having that issue. So yeah, I just, I figured that out. So just, you just have to set that to retarget too. So now that is set, as you can see here, the retarget two is the hips. So we're going to add some chains. So I'm going to call this, uh, we're going to call this the spine. I'm going to call this uh, neck. I'm going to call this 
uh, right, so, so left arm. I'm gonna call this right arm. And then we're gonna call this the left leg. And I'll call this the right, I didn't spell it out well, I know. Right leg. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, that is, that is done. So from the spine, we actually wanna start from the spine area. So this is the spine for me. So I'm gonna go down to the spine three, right? And then for the neck, obviously this is easy. Just go to the neck and then we wanna end at the head, okay? And so for the arms, we wanna start from the left shoulder down to the hands. Now, if you do have fingers, you can actually put it to the to the pinky, you know, the last uh, finger in the hands. And then the right, you wanna do the same, right shoulders and right hand. Now for the left leg, same thing. You just want to go to the left up leg and then um, the left toe base, the right up leg, then the right, oh, then the right toe base. Okay. So now this is done. We can actually save our work and that's it. So you've actually said the, uh, the reference. So now we need to apply it to our character. So um, you can actually just go ahead to recreate another IK rig. And in this case, I already did. And um, I'm just gonna delete all this. Now, something I have to mention is it's very important that you follow the same hierarchy as the original, just so you know, when you retarget that, it just appears the same way. So I'm just gonna follow exactly the same thing I have here, okay? So first thing I need to do is I need to, let me clear this, right? So I'm gonna set my hips here as the retarget route, okay? So I'm gonna add a bunch of, Chains, and I'm just gonna copy the names. I don't have time to type, or maybe I'm just being lazy. <laughs> and then, then copy the neck. Okay. Now you guys can skip this part. It's basically just doing the same thing. So copy the left arm, copy the right arm, right, left leg, and then right leg. Okay, so now I'm just gonna rename this. So this is spine, and then ends at spine two for me. Then neck ends at head, and then the arms, left shoulders down to the hands, right arm, right shoulders, right arm, right hands. Left leg should be actually the left up leg down to our toe. Now this is the right leg down to ooh, my bad down to the right toe base so pretty much that is set up and we can actually save this okay so next thing you want to do is you want to actually go to your animation and create the ik retargeter in this case which i already did so uh pretty much when you actually okay you know what i'm gonna just create with you guys here okay so i'm just gonna delete this so I'm gonna to go to animation, I can retarget her. So they're gonna ask me what the reference will be. So the reference will be my, you know, XN mocap. So I'm gonna click that and they just call this retargeter, whatever that is, you know, it's your, it's your choice. So now as you can see that this is our retargeter here and then we can actually bring in our example IK rig, right? And um, this will actually be the characters IK rig, not the example. Just let you guys know. But I don't think you need to create for each character because you can just retarget them. Yeah, I do believe that. So this is done. And then the target preview mesh will be, obviously this will be our character, Sinel. So pretty much when I play our me sitting, as you can see, it works perfectly. Like the chains, remember when I told you guys it's better you have everything same as the original? So yeah. And as you see, the route and the location moves exactly. So it's pretty impressive. This is pretty nice. The only problem is the pose is not correct. So I was playing around with the pose. And unfortunately, um, if you guys uh, if you guys go into, say, for example, if we include this new pose here, I'm just giving you guys an example, okay? So let's call this T-Pose, okay? 
So I'm going to just try my best to make this like a T-pose. You know, I don't know how this works. But apparently, I tried to make this as a T-pose. And um, I can't really get the accurate T-pose, as you can see in the mocap reference. So when I actually at least try to get something with that, when I import the animation, I get errors, okay? Which I'm going to show you guys. So I'm just telling you guys, like, you know, if you guys get errors like this, just know why you're getting the errors. So let's just use this pose as a reference, okay? So I'm going to play this. As you can see, you know, it doesn't look that bad. You know, it's not correctly done with the T-pose, so it, yeah. Okay. So now, let's go ahead to X. Oh, by the way, before we do that, it's just be better you save the work. Let me just save real quick. So now, I'm going to go to my assets, and then I'm going to click on the me seating. And we're just going to export this animation. And check this out, yo. Oh, uh, it actually exported. Uh, okay, yo, I am shocked that it exported because normally it crashed. <laughs> Interesting, it crashed for me. I don't know why. Okay, yo, so I'm surprised. It, it what? <laughs> okay, I I don't know what happened here, but normally it does crash for me. Okay, I'm confused as to why it didn't crash. Interesting. So let's try to fix the pose to make it look exactly like the character. Okay. So th the good thing with this is there are different ways to actually do this. You know, you don't have to necessarily like edit the pose and try to make it look like the XN mocap because it's just, I mean, it's kind of hard to like get it right. You know what I mean? Like it is really hard. So say I just do this, right? Well, anyways, normally this, when I did this method before, it actually crashed. And I don't know why it crashed. So I am surprised it didn't really crash this time. I, I'm just surprised, bro. That's all. So for me personally, I don't really like this method of, you know, trying to do this. You know, I'm not getting the exact um, pose. So I'm going to ignore this, right? So I'm going to go back here. And then I'm going to set this. Oh, actually, I'm going to set this back to default pose. So what you can actually do is you can actually go to the skeleton. You guys have seen this in Unreal Engine 4. It's not something new. And what you want to do is just to actually create a T-pose. So basically, I already did this here. So this is created. You know, I don't have to worry myself about, um, you know, uh, trying to get the accurate uh, position. You know, I just think this is more accurate for me. So if you guys have not done this, you should do it. And basically you just want to, you know, zero out the right shoulders and change that to 90 degrees and right arm zero, zero out. So pretty much something you've seen in Orange 4, same thing. So now I've set that to the t -pose. So when I go to my content browser here, okay, so I'm going to go to XN here. And then what we can do is we can actually just retarget the animation. So pretty much. Um, I'm going to just go to retarget animation, duplicate, and then click on the IK retargeter. As you can see, it's on the T pose. Now, keep in mind that um, if this pose does not match, your Unreal Engine will crash. So that was my mistake before. So pretty much, if you guys get some error saying like uh, position, a session failed due to outpost, something like that, just know this is the reason. So you have to actually get the pose. Same with the with the source, okay? So when I retarget this, you can see that Unreal Engine doesn't crash. So pretty much, it's, uh, I think it's, um, I think it's this one. No, not this one. It's actually this one. So, I know you guys are wondering, this is not, this is ridiculous, right? So, you know, again, this is kind of like a tedious work. You know, if I get the actual, T pose in the in the retargeter here. I'm going to show you guys. Where is it? If I get the actual position and location, but the problem is we don't have any um, you know numbers to deal with. You know, so we don't know what we're doing actually. 
So I don't really like this. I hope they can include the, the numbers where we see like, you know, the actual degrees, right, that we're turning. But just you can't really see anything. So it's a little bit frustrating. But anyways, it is what it is. So one thing you can do is you guys are probably seeing this on range in, uh, you know, four. You can just zero this out and then change this. Oh. And then you want to change this. Then bring this to 90 degrees. I just add a keyframe. Okay, so do the same for the left arm. Zero that out. Zero that out. Zero that out. So you just want to keyframe all that, right? And then do the same for the right shoulder. Changes to 90 degrees. And then the right arm, do the same. Yep. Same there. So I'm going to key this, and that's it. Pretty much that's it. So when we play this, as you can see, the character is in the regular T pose as the XM mocap. So I do use Control Rig, which I'm setting up in Unreal Engine 5. So you guys are going to see an update shortly. So I don't really mind if there's a little bit of, you know, collision with the body. I can just adjust that with my Control Rig. But the most important thing is at least there is a way you can bring your animation because I was really worried that. Why isn't it working, right? So pretty much that's the whole process of setting up, you know, um, your retargeting in Orient in 5. I hope this video helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments, man. And, uh, you know, I'll try to make more videos to help, you know, new users to Orient in 5. Anyways, I'm glad this worked. So now I can go ahead to explore the metrics. <laughs> the city demo, actually. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy and um, have a nice day. Peace.